So students, welcome to the session on interfacing stepper motor with 8051 microcontroller. Last time we have covered direction control of stepper motor and we have seen the principle of operation of stepper, uh, stepper motor. We all know that stepper motor is having four coils. So for this program also, today we will see speed control of stepper motor. We are not going to change our hardware. What we have done last time, we have connected the four coils of stepper motor to L293D driver IC, which is motor driver IC. And this has four drivers. So input 1, input 2, input 3, input 4. We have used all these four drivers along with its output 1, output 2, output 3, output 4. And this is connected to port 1, 4 pins. Port 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3. Last time also I have explained you that it is not necessary that you have to use the consequent port pins. You can use any port pins but just to make the program easier we are using the consequent pins port 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3. So whatever we give on port 1.0 is given to coil 1, whatever we give it on port 1.1 is given to coil 2, whatever we give on port 1.2 is given to coil 3 and port 1.3 corresponds to coil 4 through this motor driver IC. We use motor driver IC because the current capability of microcontroller pins are not sufficient to drive directly the motor. And we have seen in principle that coil 1 is energized first, then coil 2 is energized, then coil 3 is energized and then coil 4 is energized. When all the four coils are subsequently energized, it completes one step rotation that is 1.8 degrees. Now, to change the speed, what we do, this is this activation, let's say this duration is x. This will also be x, this will also be x and this will also be x. So, it takes total of 4x time to complete one step rotation. But, when we reduce this delay, this becomes, let's say this may be x by 4, this may be x by 4, this may be x by 4, this may be x by, x by 4. So previously it was taking 4x time to complete one step rotation but now here it is taking x by 4 plus x by 4 plus x by 4 plus x by 4 that is x time it is taking to complete one step rotation. So when this moves well, for shorter duration for one step, that means the speed of this motor is here is higher compared to speed at this place. We have to control these timings with the help of programming. And this is what we have done in speed control routine of stepper motor with 8051 microcontroller. So what we are doing, we have taken one count R5. Here we have taken 0F. This I will explain you little later that why we have taken this register as a counter for 0F. Then we are taking one count, one register as a counter wherein we are taking 0FF count. Why we are taking 0FF count? Because this will take one rotation. So likewise, we, ha we have to go for certain rotations. Here number of rotations which we are taking in one particular for one particular speed is 255 decimal. So here we are taking this count that one, in one particular speed it will move for 255 rotations. Now we are taking one count in R7 register that is 04. This is for number of coils because we have to energize four coils simultaneously. So we are taking the counter for coils as four. Now we are taking pattern in accumulator which has to be put into port 1 and to energize the coils subsequently one after another. So pattern is 11. I have explained you last time that why we are not taking 0, 1 because instead of making like when, when I put 0, 1 over here, 0, 1 means port 1.0 is getting 1 and port 1.0 is connected to coil 1. So coil 1 is getting energized. But as we are not using these pins of port, whatever status we are giving over here, it doesn't make any difference to our program. 
so we have taken zero so we have taken 11 hex why 11 hex we have taken because to energize the coil next time for coil 2 we don't have to put another count what we are doing we are rotating this 0 1 1 once to, towards left so when we rotate it towards left this the pattern becomes like this so now instead of coil 1 coil 2 will get energized then next time we, when we rotate this left by once then coil, coil 1 will also get deactivated coil 2 will also get de deactivated coil 3 will get the supply and when once we rotate once again to the left then coil 4 will get the supply so that's why we have put one zero one one over here so that it will continuously come with coil 1 coil 2 coil 3 and coil 4 then whatever we are taking in accumulator that is 1 1 hex will go on to the port we are putting it onto the port so that it is given to the coils so now initially the coil 1 is energized then what we are doing we are rotating the contents of accumulator once now what is happening here we are calling delay calling delay means port uh, you know that for all the ports of x 51 are latched so unless and until we change the contents on port the previous contents are not going to change so now what is available on port 1 port 1 is containing 1 1 so that means coil 1 is getting energized and this energization will remain for delay period so we have written one separate delay routine even if even if i am not writing you over here you all know that what how to write the delay routine so let's say the delay is called for this much period so now the coil one will get energization for this much of period after that we are decrementing the counter of number of coils because coil one is energized so counter is decremented by one first and then it is checked whether it is zero or not so it is not zero so where it is going it is going to the location loop now loop stands for again move peak one comma a so now what is available in a because already we are uh, we have kept the count after rotation after rotating accumulator left by once so what is the available count over in our in accumulator is this so now p1 will contain this count so that after coil 1 coil 2 is getting energized and again that is for the delay period so this we are doing for four times because we have to subsequently energize all the four coils one after another so this makes when coil r7 goes to zero that means one step rotation is completed so when we complete one step rotation then what we are doing we are decrementing r4 by once that means and how many number of rotations we have kept we have kept through 55 number of rotations so such this type of one rotation which we have completed such 255 rotations we will be completing and this will check with the help of r4 so once the r4 goes to uh, goes to zero then again we are jumping to the location start what is start stands for start stands for move r7 comma 4 because when we complete one rotation r7 is has gone to zero so again for next rotation we have to reload r7 by number of coils that is four so here we are completing with this we are completing 255 rotations in one particular rotation r rl we are doing rotating left that means we are energizing coil 1, coil 2, coil 3 and coil 4 that stands for clockwise rotation so we are now because we are considering for speed control we have kept one particular direction for this program that is clockwise direction so now with this particular this many instructions for these many instructions 255 steps stepper motor is moving in clockwise direction then what we have done we have done we have taken whatever we have taken yet i have not explained you that why we have taken this r5 we have taken 0f in r5 register and now here what we are doing we are taking that content into accumulator so now accumulator is containing 0f we are swapping the contents of accumulator swapping the contents of accumulator means what swapping does 
swapping does like this the higher nibble is going to lower nibble and the lower nibble is going to higher nibble so after swapping the contents of accumulator will become f0 so 0f will become f0 because this nibble is shifted to most significant nibble and this nibble is shifted to lower significant nibble so now the accumulator is containing instead of 0f it is containing f0 then what we are doing we are taking the contents of accumulator into r5 register so because swapping cannot be done in on register swapping is always done on accumulator contents first we have to move the contents from r5 to accumulator and then after swapping we are moving the contents from accumulator to r5 so now previously r5 contents were 0f now r5 contents are f0 then what we are doing we are jumping to speed location what speed location stands for speed location is here move r4 comma 0ff now again for one particular 255 rotations in one particular speed so we are completing with one particular speed now we have to change the speed so again because 255 is exhausted and it has become zero with one particular speed we are again reloading the count for r4 as ff that is for next speed also for this type of speed also the count will be 255 so let's say if initially we have covered this routine for 255 times now we want to cover this routine for 255 times so initial count was 0f now this here we have taken 0f so when i am calling delay routine what delay routine is telling me you can write any delay last time also we have seen that we have written taken three registers and we are subsequently decrementing each register by one one after another but now here the delay routine has been written in some other fashion just to explain you that there are number of ways to write the delay so when i write move r6 comma 05 what r6 comma 05 stands for 